Hi, my name is Antoine. Today we continue our series on understanding modern slavery with Dr. Stephen Morse from Unchained. In this podcast, we're going to explore another phase of modern slavery and the extreme conditions thousands of people work in. So, Stephen, apart from slavery in factories, where else is modern slavery present? Modern slavery can exist in almost any type of industry. Some of the most prominent industries are agriculture, horticulture, construction and mining, transport and logistics, computer technology, hospitality, uh, services such as cleaning, security, beauty and sex work. In terms of our consumption of food, for a long time now there's been a big focus on the production of chocolate and coffee. Of recent years we've learned more about the perils of the fishing industry, especially around South East Asia. Wow, that's a huge list. Can you tell us more about what it's like to work in one of these industries? For example, an industry I'm particularly passionate about in fishing. Sure, let me tell you about Samart. He was a young man when he lost his job as a security guard in Bangkok. Unable to find work, he was preparing to return home when a friendly man invited him for a drink to talk about a job on a fishing vessel. Samart turned down the job, but after a few sips of his drink, he passed out. When he woke up, he was on a boat off the coast of Singapore. How he got there remains a mystery, but he would soon be sent into Indonesian waters where he would remain trapped for seven years, being moved about from boat to boat and never setting foot on dry land. Seven years on a boat, I can't imagine what that would be like. It's difficult to imagine. It's mainly men and boys who find themselves in this kind of situation. They're usually mistreated, poorly fed, not paid and thrown overboard when they get too sick. Vulnerable migrants, mainly from Miramar, Cambodia and Laos, have for years been lured onto fishing boats and exploited for profit. So, is there anything being done about this problem? Yes, this issue is being addressed in one of the most, uh, in one of the largest seafood markets in the world. Big companies like Thai Union have done a lot to overhaul its operations and to protect workers against such bad practices. And many people like Samart have been rescued. At age 44, he now helps other survivors overcome their trauma and get the compensation they're entitled to under Thai law. That's really good to know. What an incredible story. In the next podcast, we'll explore more about the face of modern slavery in our world today and what can be done about it. Thanks for listening and visit our website at unchained.net.au.